Hi, my name is Shana. I am a volunteer with Patrick's uh, NGO, which is called Summer Fund Foundation, as well as uh, the Empowerment uh, NGO, which is called Hilka. With Samarpan, I am running. With Samarpan, I am running a school for poor children. It's totally free. Uh, I have 180 to 200 children in the morning. It's a primary school up to class five. Then in the afternoon, I have two sessions of tuitions for children who are going to government schools. Okay. Again, 200 each session. So uh, we, I just bought like uh, six laptops and we filled them up in your computer lab. Yes. What are you doing with the kids in the computer lab and how will you use the six laptops? In the computer lab we are teaching them how to use the computer, how to use Microsoft Office, uh, Photoshop, things like that. In, uh, with the laptops I am going to use them in the classrooms with the educational CDs and uh, DVDs. Uh, why do you think it's necessary to uh, teach the kids with multimedia? These, I think it's uh, very nice for every, all children, but these children particularly, they are so deprived and they are so lacking in awareness, opportunities, uh, and they are in such a restricted environment. Like some of them have never even seen a movie house. They've never been inside a movie house. They've never sat in a car. They've not sat, sat in a uh, uh, train. So where do you usually so, the kids? Uh, yeah. So, you know, you'll be using your eyes, your ears, everything and it's, it's, it'll be a visual thing for them to learn rather than just learning from the textbook. The, the ability to understand what you're learning would be much better, especially with science and history and geography. What kind of children do you have? In which area in Delhi we are in here? We are in uh, Basant uh, Kunj, which is quite an upmarket area. But uh, this is a where the school is in an urban slum called Kishinda. It is actually a rag pickers slum uh, colony, rag pickers colony. But there are also people who work with uh, construction laborers who are um, petty uh, shopkeepers, cycle repairs, things like that. Very, very, very poor. Some of them don't even have permanent structures as, well as houses. They have tarpaulin for their roots and tin, tin sheets. So what are your major challenges when the kids come here? Apart from academic education, we try to teach them to be really to be good human beings. We teach them to share. We teach them to be gentle, to care for the environment. If you sweep around the school, you see we've got flowers all over the place. They're not; they've learned not to cut, break flowers, uh, to be kind to animals. We have a lot of dogs and cats around the place. They've been taught that I mean, you know, they're not allowed to throw stones, what they usually do. They are. Uh, we have now uh, several, uh, in the season, we have several birds that uh, have their nests around the place in the trees. And we watch every day, we come and watch very carefully not to disturb the mummy birds and the babies. And then we watch the mummy teaching them to fly and things like that. So that's something, sharing with each other. How do you finance this entire endeavor here? Oh, with great difficulty. It's mainly done through private donation. We don't get any government assistance. And it's really very difficult uh, because we don't have any, really, a regular committed donor. So I don't know. But I, get, I have donors, but I don't know next year what will happen. So 
there's always that uh, tension is always there. Patrick tells us that we should have faith, so we try to have faith. And there's nothing else we can do except have faith that the money will come. Well, it usually comes. Yes, the last couple come. of years. So, what keeps yourself going in this project? I don't know. It's just something I'm doing. It's something I'm doing. And as you get to go along, you see something that needs a little bit, something else that needs to be done. So, whatever you see. Wherever you see that there is a need, just pick it up and try and do whatever you can. And as 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 the years go by, the school is growing without any, without really trying to make it grow. Because it, we started with even with the tuition, we started with class five, which was the senior most class. After now, we've got children who are going to uh, into class 10, 11, 12. In between, somebody comes in, a girl comes in and says, please, ma'am, I have no one to teach me. I can't say no. <laughs> so this year, we got children. We had three girls who graduated from class 12, which is equivalent to the A-levels. And they will all three go to university. They've got 87%, uh, 71%, and 63% which for first generation literate is really quite remarkable. Congratulations. Thank you. I must admit I felt like a, a bit like a proud mother for a couple of days. <laughs>